For 14 bucks, I wanted to see if this microphone was actually any good. I went out and bought this. I wanted to find out if you could actually use it or whether or not it was a huge pile of, you know what? Let's get into it. Today marks the start of a brand new series of videos I'm putting together, and this is the first thing on the chopping block. My goal here is to see if we can get good quality items at a low cost that actually works for its application. So for me, using a microphone like this, which is clearly based on an SM57, I'm gonna test this on electric guitar amplifiers and see how it sounds. If it works well for that, odds are it's gonna sound great on a snare drum. I have a whole lot of microphones in my collection and I haven't even opened this one up yet. So I'll have a basis for comparison with this review. I have a whole lot of 57s, Beta 57s, Rode microphones, and just about everything else. So we're gonna see what this is like and for 14 bucks, whether or not it stacks up to the real thing. So you might find yourself a bargain. All right, well, let's get into it. Like I mentioned before, I'm actually taking one for the team. I don't know whether or not this is gonna be any good or not. So if you appreciate that, please give the video the thumbs up. And I'm also gonna be putting together a whole lot of other videos about stuff as cheap as I can find that's still good. Now there were cheaper microphones on Amazon than this, but I didn't kind of like the look of them. This at least looked like a professional microphone. Now one of the cool things in the box is we do get a mic cable and it's quite long as well, but the only problem with it is it has a jack connection on one side instead of a Canon to Canon, but that will plug into the microphone and that will go into your sound card. I guess for dynamic mics, it might not matter that much, but I don't really like these type of cables, but it will work, so we'll give it a shot anyway. Microphone cable aside. Ooh, we have some rattles. It's loose. I think it's just, yeah, all right. It's good, it's good. It was just a little bit loose here. We'll check it out up close in a second. We have a, are you satisfied with your product? <laughs> we have some instructions and we have what looks like some of their other range of microphones. So if this is any good, we might get them all down the track. So stay tuned. Let's check out the mic. I shouldn't be too greedy for 14 bucks, but one thing that would have been great is if they actually included a mic clip. If you don't already own a microphone with a clip, you're gonna to have to go out and buy another one. Lucky I've got about a million of those clips that should work fine with a 57. This old Bok clip should be the perfect fit. Done. Now I'm actually gonna give this crappy cable a go. If it sucks, I'll go ahead and use a proper XLR cable. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna fit. <laughs> now the other side of this actually just gets plugged directly into my sound card. I own a Steinberg UR22. I actually like these so much, I have a second one on my other computer. Start with the gain all the way down. All right, let's give it a go and see how it sounds. We've got a PRS SE, a Citec delay pedal right here running through the effects loop. I'm using the crappy cable that came with the microphone direct to the sound card and that is it. So let's give this a shot, neck pick up. That should be enough to see how it sounds. Let's actually do a comparison now between the 57 and the pile. I'm gonna hook up the 57 with an actual Canon to Canon cable. Let's do it. Both mics are placed evenly on the speaker, so I've tried my best to get them to be in exactly the same position, only a little bit further apart than each other. And we're gonna try this on Dirty again. So let's give this a shot. Now what I'm gonna do is place some stuff 
and then I'll overlay on screen which microphone is which, and you can see if you can hear a difference. I have noticed already that the gain on the desk using a proper XLR microphone is a whole lot lower, which is preferable. So yeah, if you're gonna buy one of these mics, get an XLR cable. So what are my opinions on this microphone after listening back to the AB through my KRK studio monitors? I actually think it sounded really good even with the crappy cable that it came with. Some of the downsides of this particular microphone is internally the wires don't look like the same kind of quality but for 14 bucks it's not bad. Another downside is too it doesn't actually come with a mic clip so you'll have to go get a mic clip. I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description if you want to get a better cable as well. All links will be down there as well. You can check them out. Overall, for 14 bucks, if you want to record an electric guitar, I'm gonna put my actual thumbs up behind this. I think it sounds really good. Just to be clear, I paid for this microphone. This wasn't sent out to me from any company. I'm gonna start doing a series like this where I take one for the team and we're gonna see if we can find the best recording budget gear. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't give it a thumbs down, let me know why in the comments below and I will catch you on the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little notification bell. Catch you soon.